Okay, I'm recording. Um, so this question on sort of um, what if there's, uh, for example, a lot of overwhelm or there is men mental issues going on um, and one is finding difficulty in connecting to God. What if there's extreme overwhelm or there's, um, you know, uh, severe mental problems and hormonal problems going on and the capacity to connect to God seems to be extremely disrupted. That's actually a very interesting question. So what would I do if I felt that, you know, I was overwhelmed with hormones or midlife crisis and my capacity to connect to God seems to be like I can't just connect to God. I'm just too much in the thick of all these disturbing thoughts and overwhelming feelings. So I, actually the, the way I would do that, and there are times when I've been extremely uh, disconnected and I, you know, and, the, and it almost feels like it's too difficult to pray to do things and and actually what I do do then so but I'll, I'll say quite a few things on the topic what I would do now some of these things you may not be able to do because you're just so disrupted and feeling so disconnected that it's almost like you don't have the capacity to pray or to do things it seems that that even seems too overwhelming and too difficult because of the disturbing thoughts and overwhelming feelings. So I do understand, but the main thing I do in extreme disruption and overwhelm is I know that I'm disconnected and I'm going to find it very difficult on my own to try and connect to, it, to God. So what I need to do then is to um, align myself, soak myself in high vibration environments, people, books, situations, music, uh, and attractor fields so that I can leverage these high energy fields to slowly grab me up because I can't do anything. I, I'm just too disrupted to pray. Uh, so these are some of the things that I, I, I might suggest or I might do. I might listen to some uh, videos of Dr. Hawkins and just listen to him laughing and cracking jokes and talking about spirituality and how the uh, ego and illusion is not real and how you can, can cancel beliefs. Just watching that, I start to tune into his vibration and his messages. And, uh, and often um, this negativity will start to evaporate. I do remember once I was really disconnected and listening to him. And then, you know, the phone rang, miracles started happening as my energy field started to align with a higher vibration. So it just got me out of the stuck. You could listen to high vibration music, you know, things like Pachelbel's Canon or Kyrie or something of a high vibration that will slowly start to tune you in, read high vibration books, maybe something like, uh, you know, Letting Go uh, or you could listen to that on Audible or um, music, uh, any groups you can attend. I know it's the COVID situation, so you maybe not physical meetings so much, you know, like 12-step um, groups, of course, in Miracle groups or Hawkins groups, but uh, Zoom groups, there, there's Course in Miracle groups, Hawkins groups, 12-step groups to align on and just tune into that vibration. Uh, you can speak to people, speak to mentors. Um, another thing you could do that you might be too disruptive to do is, um, uh, uh, one of the things I used to do a long time ago, I don't do it any longer because I don't feel I need to do it, is I used to make, um, either you can make prayers and record them and have them play back to you. Like, I cancel my belief in overwhelm, hormones and despair. I'm an infinite being or God did not create hormonal despair or, or mental incapacity, so it's not real. And put that on a loop, on a recorder, and that will start to shift things for you as you hear that belief you know, that message trying to cancel through all those beliefs which are disrupting you, like, oh, I believe I'm too mentally incapacitated to get out of this, or I'm too overwhelmed to do anything. So just if you put it on loop and listen to it, it will start to clear it because that's a high vibration, you know, t um, giving you the message that you can let it go. It's not real, if you, or that you're disconnected from God and can't connect to God. That is not real as well. So you can do those things. Um, and so that's what I do. I mean, if, I mean, the usual things, if you, when and if you're able to do them is to pray, to cancel, to hand it over, to sit with the feelings, to let it be, uh, try not to resist, try to allow, to let it be. Um, don't, don't try and, and say you don't want this, this, these mental thoughts and feelings to be here. Just try and be with it. Let it be there, face it. And in that, 
it will shift faster than than wishing it wasn't here and and not wanting it to be here so uh, i'll stop there and uh,